We are just underway here at CHI Health Center in Omaha, Nebraska. It has been a fast pace to this one. And there's Ryan Nemhart. Couldn't finish with the Runner Dogs. Kind of missed them both. Hawkins, though, with the offensive glass and the putback. Keep our eye on that one, whether he's going to come back in the game or not, but he is so valuable to this team, obviously. In the corner, O'Connell rises up for three. Well, last time out, he had 17 points in 17 minutes, so Coach McDermott saying, guys, that's exactly what the scouting report said, and nobody can stop him. O'Connell dips underneath. Got a call for it if you're Kalkbrenner. Look inside to Hawkins, who got free. Creighton with the basketball now. O'Connell. We're on the right side to Alexander. Into the corner. Open for three for Nemhard. Six minutes remaining here in this first half. Alexander puts it on the floor. Rises up. Splash. And he gets a veteran's bounce. Yeah, weight room move by Elliott. Goes in there. Gets it hard. Bullies his way right through the defender. Three for Alexander. Who rattles it in. Ten to shoot, O'Connell in the corner. Boy, O'Connell has loved that shot here today. The clock winding down, rejected was Nemhard, but the follow by Kalkbrenner, and now they are going to wave it off. Nemhard on the floor and a little bit of pain. That's an injury Creighton cannot afford to have. All right, Nemhard coming off the floor. Greg McDermott. Talking to him as they hope that Nemhart's okay, but the basket is good, and that's the right call. Loses the basketball, gets it back to Hawkins. Six to shoot on the shot clock for Hawkins. The runner in the lane falls for the super senior. Four-point lead for Marquette. Trey Alexander driving, turnaround jumper in the paint, and he has kind of mastered that part of his game. Four-point lead for Marquette. O'Connell, nice look inside to Kalkbrenner. Didn't catch it cleanly, but it didn't matter. Yeah, they finally got it inside of the big fell. They can get that about any time they want. In the corner, O'Connell again, a feed to Kalkbrenner. Challenged, but he finishes off the glass. It's caught underneath, tries to throw it back to Hawkins. Seven to shoot on the shot clock for Ryan Hawkins. Picks up his dribble. Here's Alexander, three to shoot. Behind the back, step back, contested three. How did that go? Lewis working against Nemhard. A little bit of a mismatch there, but they take it away. Nemhard into the front court. They got three on one to the trailing Hawkins, and Hawkins will finish. Inside to Kalkbrenner. O'Connell really trying to force the issue with Kalkbrenner the last few possessions where it's come through. Alex O'Connell this time he takes it all the way to the glass. O'Connell again, working against Cam Jones, finds Kalkbrenner! He bends the rim! Shaka Smart needs a timeout to talk to his Golden Eagles. Need to shoot the shot clock, Emhart puts it on the floor. Loses the basketball into the hands of Alexander. Back out, Nemhard for three, yes! Nemhard with the first three of the second half for Creighton. Attacking the glass. Hawkins, out to Nemhard, step back, for three, yes, Ryan Nemhard, heating it up. Let me help, dude. let me help. Alexander to Hawkins, Hawkins, double pump in the paint, and got the friendly bounce. On the defensive end, especially for Marquette, here's Nemhard, picks up his dribble, leads to Kalkbrenner, five to shoot. Now Nemhard again driving baseline. Somehow he got Brayden to get Hawkins the ball in a scoring position the next couple times. Loses the basketball. Here comes Nemhard accelerating, finding the trailing Hawkins, and Creighton leads. Marcel looks it across half court. Andrew Nikishvili 
Nearly took it away from him, and now he dribbles out of bounds. What defense from Andro Nikashvili. Well, he's trying to get it in, and he stepped on the line. And listen to this crowd. Make it 21 for Conk Brennan. And Kett will get it in. Elliott is fouled by Andrew Nikashvili. But it's going to be tough for Marquette here. Alexander gets it in to Ryan Hawkins. And the clock will expire. The Creighton Blue Jays survive an incredible basketball game here this afternoon against Marquette.